Good morning. Uh, starting a little bit late today. Um, and I'm really not sure what to do today. Um, I'm kind of at a crossroads uh, with my goal monitor stuff. Um, and I haven't done any um, investigation into what I need to do next for Snippet Pixie yet. Um, so I think what I'll do is I will have a, I think my problem with Go Monitor is I haven't got a direction set yet. Um, at the moment, it's been very ad hoc as to what I'm doing. Um, and I know there's a lot to be done. Um, so I think what I'll start doing today is just giving it a quick test, see what's going wrong, uh, log them as some issues to tackle in some next sessions, um, and also some sort of higher level um, issues um, and sort of set some sort of direction as to what I'm going to do. Um, I haven't got a lot of time, so it's only going to be getting started. Um, I'm going to do like a little short session today. Um, but I just need to kind of step back and start thinking about what I actually want to achieve with Goal Monitor um, and put down some, some ideas at least as to what I need to do next to get it moving properly. So I think first things first is um, quick build, make sure it's working as far as it is working um, uh, and then start playing with it and uh, start logging some some tickets and such. So let's see, let's see what the state of this is. Um, Okay. Ooh. Okay, we're good there. Just make sure I don't done. I don't think I've done anything else way, so it should be fine. Yeah. Um, I haven't got any of my service stuff watching yet, so let's see. Make sure that's all up and running. Yep. Okay. So uh, let's do make clean. Just a quick make. Make sure everything builds without issue. That's good. And now I'll make upgrade to actually put it in the server. One seven eight. There it goes. Upgrading. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Not a lot. So definitely content, um, but that is kind of last last thing on the list. I don't think I even really need to log that yet. Um, the important stuff is the actual goals. Um, now, do I want to quickly reset? No. Okay. Well, the most obvious thing here is that this is just dummy stuff at the moment. Um, and I'm not liking the way that the prefix is set up there. So let's, um, let's see. Let's just create. Start looking at stuff. So uh, what have we got? Um, Go here. Right then. So an obvious one. Is uh, what should we call this? Um, okay. 
I wonder if I can... There's no labels, is there? Have I got labels set? No, no labels. Okay, let's do a quick label then. Uh, oh, I wish I knew what my... Um, my preferred colours are. I'll change them later. Um, but right, let's just do... Um, let's do a quick red. And this is going to be... Bug. Let's do... Blue. Feature. Um, I think we'll have a slightly darker orange. Yeah, we'll just call that a task. So if I've got just something I need to do, server upgrade, whatever, that will be that. And that'll keep me. And stuff. Right, okay. I'm going to mostly call these tasks, um, not tasks, um, features, I guess. Although this is really a bug. Let's do, um, okay. Gold title. Yeah. Gold title. Uh, should have better handling of prefix and suffix. Prefix and suffix. Should both optionally have space um, after or So I think that's a feature. Okay. Um, a biggie. So the big one here is that um, goals list should. Show Spark Graph. Don't think I even need to know. Don't think I even need to um, mention anything more than that. Okay. That'll do for the moment. So in here measurements there's a lot to be done
What else do we need here? We need bit of UI for managing goal. What else do we need? We need a quick a core thing that I really want to do is have a very quick way of adding a measurement to a goal, to an existing goal. So um just have a quick add. Measurement from any page. And then I go default selector go should be same otherwise last used go that'll do. Should have same defaults, but date and value should Today's date and last entered value. Something like that. This is just a quick scaffold. I can always uh, change these requirements as I go along. So we're actually in the goal page we want some management as well for measurements so um go page needs better ui Imagine. measurements Each measurement should be editable. Including delete. Okay.
I've already got um, sorting and stuff in this table, but you can't really see at the moment because there isn't any more measurements. Um, what else do we need here? Well, a biggie is uh, account management. So we need the very basics just to get us going. The date format needs to be manageable. Probably. Although it's taking it from the browser at the moment. So I could probably skip that for the moment until that becomes an issue. Um, One of the things that is problematic at the moment, um, if I go into here and expand up, is this is just a very quick thing I just chucked in. Um, and it doesn't scale. I haven't done any kind of responsive stuff properly. Um, so if I... Um, it's a bit small. If I switch into mobile mode um, and switch to say an old iPhone, it's gone. <laughs> it just disappears. And you can see this is a mess as well. So I've done nothing here yet. Um, I think actually if I rotate it, it might pop back in here. But yeah, all this needs, I mean, the whole UI needs a complete um, overhaul. It's, it is just like, quickly chuck some stuff in the screen and make sure I can hit it. Um, so I think go up a little bit. Yeah, it just pops in then. So what I really need is proper responsive here. Um, I don't particularly want a log out button and stuff anyway. Um, this should actually be an account kind of drop down menu. Um, maybe with just an icon for, you know, a member icon or like a, a person or whatever. Um, and a drop down menu, uh, which I'd probably have even in desktop mode as well, because it's, you know, it'll just be useful. Um, I mean, to be honest, this stuff here doesn't really even need to be here once you're logged in. It could actually be in the menu, I guess. Although it's nice that if, um, if if once we do get some docs, or if you want to hit a, get some support, it's going to be there. Those are the basics that you need if you need to work out how to do something. Although it's in theory going to be so simple that you'd be hard pressed to need support. Um, so UI, we need a lot of changes to the UI. Um, let's think. So the biggie there is um, responsive menu. Ah, where's that Egon? And <laughs> uh, what else? Such as I don't know. Date format over right. Uh, 
actually no. What else do we need? Depends what else we're going to be doing. Oh yeah, email addresses and stuff. So a long-term goal for this is um, you don't even need to come to the UI at all, to the web. You should be able to do most of it via email. So you'll get like a reminder by email um, that you need to submit a goal uh, measurement um, with some sort of visualization of what you where you're at so far or the last time. And you should be able to set this on the schedule, whether you want it or not, that kind of stuff. Um, and you should be able to just reply with your measurement that you've just taken or whatever. And it pops into the app. Um, some people, it's just so convenient just having an email reminder. You put in your to-dos, go through your to-dos, put in your numbers, off you go. Um, yeah, so... Description and settings, etc. All the stuff. Okay. Now, a biggie is that. Uh, This is horrid. <laughs> this is just like chuck a bunch of fields onto the screen and make sure they work, um, which they don't as well. So so we've got some issues in this that we already know about. Um, let's go back to this one. There's lots of lots and lots of stuff to be done on here. Um, I probably need to spend a bit of time dealing with it. So let's make a high level. Um, what should we say here? Add edit goal pages. Uh, need <laughs> designing, I think, because <laughs> I've not done anything yet. Um, yeah, I don't think I can say much more than that. I need to really think about them. I need to put some effort into that to come up with a better UI because just a list of fields is no good. Um, Uh, and colors, of course, as well. At the moment, it's just something. I haven't done any. I haven't done any styling of the inputs and stuff. That is just default. So, yeah, lots to do in the UI design front. Um, but I kind of need to make sure that the basics are working and the features are there. Um, the good thing about having Svelte as the front end is that as long as your components are clean enough, you can just start adding in your CSS as you need. Um, the big thing I need to make sure of is that I'm using Flex and so on. Flex may be good for some things. Um, if I get the structure right, I should be able to then uh, massage it a little to with CSS to get the, the right layout and colouring. So do we need to put any more than that? I don't think I'm on the page need to design. It's kind of a reminder. I mean, I guess technically the whole thing needs design, but that'll do for the moment. All right, so what have we got so far? Uh, gold title should have better handling of prefix and suffix. 
goal list should work, show spark line graph. Yeah. In theory, I'm what I'm going to have is your goal is quickly summarized here. Uh, goal list should, no, no. goal page needs graph, obviously, at the moment. The big missing thing here is a graph, which is the visualization of how you're doing on your goal. Um, and the, uh, you know, graph, I mean, there's a lot wrapped up in that. There's all kinds of ideas I've got for um, what it should do. Um, it's got to be simple, but there's some some specific things it needs to do depending on the values. But we'll get to that. Um, I need to kind of fill that out as I go along. Goal page needs better UI for managing goal. That's for sure. Uh, there's nothing here that tells you how you can manage this goal at the moment. So we need to be able to edit and delete it and stuff. At the moment, I just put in a quick link that takes you to the edit, which is not great. Um, quick add measurement from any page. Yeah, so I'm imagining something like just some, I mean, it could just be the footer has um, some fields that you use and you just quickly type in what you need and hit return and that's you done. Um, and this, so if you're in this goal, um, if you've got maybe a bookmark that takes you directly to it, you'd see it and then you'd be able to just hit, put your number in and hit return or whatever. Um, and you'll be sorted. Uh, whereas if you're obviously up in the goals list, um, you would have to pick the goal you want to quickly add to. But, you know, if you've, you know, recently used the weight one or whatever, that could go, that could be the first selected. Although the first up goal might be a better option there. Because it should be the one that you're thinking about the most, the one that you're about to hopefully going to complete soonest. We'll see. See what works. Um, that might be a setting that we just have. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, goal page needs better UI for managing measurements. That's for sure. We've got no controls yet, nothing to do. We need to add measurements um, as well. I so, so just mentioned that. Um, the quick add might be all we need for that. Although maybe a just an add button here would help as well. And you can maybe do it in line. Um, as well as obviously editing and deleting. Uh, responsive menu. Yeah, we have um, got any menu really. Nothing going on up there. Add edit goal pages need designing. Yeah, well, the whole, whole app needs designing. Um, so something a little bit more... Um, nitty gritty is that notifications. Um, so at the moment, uh, if you do something daft, so if I try, let's go to this one. If I edit this, um, and I don't know, I haven't, I haven't got the I haven't done my tests and validation for that yet. That's another thing I need to do. Um, but if I quickly try and add a goal. And I put the date taken in the past. It will, in theory, fail. Oh, no, that wasn't what I was wanted. It's, that is perfectly valid. Date taken in the future, that's what I meant. It fails. Um, which was one of the things we did in the testing recently. Um, you can see here. 
the console measurement date taken should not be in the future um, and that is actually just logged um, interesting um, why is that even showing in here Anyway, um, yeah, so there should be UI for displaying that message. It should come back and say, hey, don't be silly. Um, I mean, obviously, another thing would be to just make sure you can't pick a date um, and validation that as well, so that you can't even type it. Although, I prefer that. Um, if you you try something, it doesn't stop you from typing it because that that can be a real um, problem for you. Um, people just not understanding why why is this not doing its thing. Whereas if you do it and it says instantly uh, this is invalid, um, at least then you get a visual feedback as to why uh, with an expla explanation. So um, I will probably try doing something just like simple inline notifications as well as some sort of global notification thing like a toaster pop-up or something um so i need to quickly mention that um handle inline errors validation Um, show notifications. I mean, also a little notification to say, yay, your thing worked. It's sometimes nice as well. People like to see that, even if it, even if the UI moves to like a new page, which shows um the done thing um people tend to like a little yay you did your thing um just positive feedback helps so um show notification success success or failure um Okay, well, we've done a few now then. So that's probably enough for the moment. That's given me some sort of direction. I think um, the notifications is going to be something I probably need to do very soon. Um, because I also need to finish my tests. Um, so add server tests for inputs um That is a task. Hello. That's taking its time.
Okay. So what else we got? Girls this should show spark line graph. That's feature. Girl page needs a graph. That's definitely a feature. Girl page needs better UI for managing goals. Yeah. Mm. When does this all kind of task stuff? It's not as if it's. Ah. It's a feature. Is it? Is it? Nah. It's a task. In fact, most of these things are tasks, really, aren't they? That's better described as a feature. We probably need to go <laughs> change all these things. Probably need to actually reword these into proper little stories and so on. Responsive menu task. Add it. it doesn't really matter. I just like color. I did it go. Yeah, that's definitely a task. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Show notifications such as success or failure. Yeah. Okay. Fine. All right. That's given me a, a few things that I know that I definitely need to do um, and some sort of direction. Um, I can now start picking from these um, and get them sorted. And that's me. That's my day done. Day done? Uh, that's my little session done because time to go do some work. Um, so uh, no coding, just a little bit of uh, project management there. Um, sometimes you just need to sit back and uh, take, a, take stock of what you've done so far and uh, where you need to go. So uh, until next time. Um, Take care.